Hey, welcome back, everyone. Thanks for watching. So the clip I have for you today is of Senator Josh Hawley questioning the DHS secretary about the overnight announcement of an Orwellian disinformation governance board and why, of all people, they hired Nina Jankowitz to lead it. There's lots to say about this exchange, so let's get right to it. If your intent was to combat misinformation online or in the government, why on God's green earth would you nominate someone who is a human geyser of misinformation? <laughs> Um, Senator, um, I, I am ultimately responsible for the hiring of Ms. Jankowitz uh, to be the executive director of the Disinformation Governance Board. In my capacity as the secretary, why did you I, choose I bear, her? I bear responsibility uh, for that. Um, I understand that she is uh, an expert in disinformation. Yes, and indeed, will, spreading it. And she will have an obligation to execute her responsibilities in a nonpartisan way. Were you aware of these? Were you aware of this information when you chose her? Everything I, I've just shown you? I was not. What, how could you not be? Uh, uh, Did you do any research on her? Senator, Senator. Who could possibly be skeptical of this person being fact-based and nonpartisan? Critical race theory has become one of those hot button issues that uh, the Republicans and, and other, you know, disinformers um, who are engaged in disinformation for profit, frankly, there are plenty of, you know, media outlets that are making money off of this too, have, have seized on. And I live in Virginia uh, and in Loudoun County, that's one of the areas um, where people have really honed in on this topic. Which is probably why Loudoun County Public Schools is currently hosting a lesson plan on its website, explicitly teaching queer theory and critical race theory to kids. She just hates Republicans and thinks they're disinformers. Sure, sure. So she's definitely qualified for this shadow gov, I mean, ministry of truth, I mean, disinformation governance board. Uh, I will not uh, discuss the internal workings of the hiring process. You won't? Of the Department of Homeland Security. Well, let me ask you about this. Uh, are, are, I'm sure there are documents pertaining to this board, minutes of meetings, communications about who would serve on the board. Will you release those to this committee? Um, uh, Senator, there are not uh, yet this this governance board. Wait a minute. There are no me there are no minutes of meetings about this board. It is not yet. You've not uh, created any records. It has not yet begun its work. Y you've hired her. You surely had deliberations about hiring her. The, the the board has not yet met. You you had deliberations about hiring her though, correct? Uh, I did not, uh, Senator. You just said I, that you are solely responsible for hiring her. In my capacity as the secretary. I bear responsibility. You're telling me that there are no documents associated with this board. You look like a snake! Jeez, it is just maddening knowing that if the roles were reversed on this, the Democrats and the media would incite a national uproar. Legitimately. Instead, they support the Ministry of Truth, they support Nina Jankowitz, and this lying, corrupt reptile. Instead, we have CNN and the others framing this as the heroic Mayorkas pushing back on Republicans' concerns. Republicans are criticizing your decision, the administration's decision to choose Nina Jankowitz to lead this disinformation board. They say she is not somebody who is neutral. Your response? Eminently qualified, a renowned expert in the field of disinformation. Absolutely so. Critical race theory has become one of those hot button issues that uh, the Republicans and, and other, you know, disinformers. She has, for starters, consistently misinformed the public about the Hunter Biden laptop story and spread the lie that it was Russian propaganda. Here she is again, the same interview, saying that we should view it, meaning the laptop and apparently the whole story, as a Trump campaign product. That is also a lie. Biden notes 50 former NATSEC officials and five former CIA heads that believe the laptop is a Russian influence op laundering here, using government, former government officials to launder the lie that this was in fact a Russian influence op, which of course is not true at all. Here she is in an NPR interview this year, just a few weeks ago, April 16th, 2022. This is Ms. Jankowitz, and I quote, I shudder to think about if free speech absolutists were taking over more platforms. They say she is not somebody who is neutral. Your response? Eminently qualified, a renowned expert in the field of disinformation. 
Absolutely so. Hopefully by now, if you weren't already, you're starting to see the really insidious patterns emerging here. He claims that there's been no board meetings and no work done up to this point, yet Nina Jankowitz herself has claimed to have been working as an Orwellian tyrant for the last two months. So which is it? And if she has been working for two months, what's she been doing? Mayork has claimed that he alone is responsible for her hire, yet somehow knew nothing about her past partisan disinformed record and can't explain how or why she was hired other than to claim that she's an expert, which is a completely discredited claim at this point. Why would he even say it? Who recommended her? Under what process was she approved? I'm not an expert on this, but aren't there laws about open and fair hiring in federal jobs? How long has this organization actually existed? And why do we only find out about it right after Elon Musk buys Twitter, taking it away from these very same people? Mayorkas is either a really bad liar or he is supremely incompetent. Why are the self-titled protect of democracy, not the ones asking these questions. Instead, they're framing the people asking those questions as the bad guys. <laughs> I, that, I, that I don't, you asked for meeting minutes. minutes of meetings, documents pertaining to the board, any records of communications about who would serve on the board. Will you turn those over to this committee? Any document of reta pertaining to this board, will you turn it over to this committee? Senator, we, we owe you documents with respect to the work of this board that already are in existence. So you'll document. turn them all over? You will turn those documents over to this, to this committee? Unless there is a legal basis for us not to do so. Uh, Senator, I will follow up with my uh, colleagues on that. Did you, did you, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You started to say yes, but, th but then you just, you no, just, no, turned, is that a yes or is that a, that's a maybe, I'll get back to you later. Um, Senator, I owe openness and transparency with this committee and we will produce the documents that you have requested unless there's a legal prohibition from uh, us doing so. Unless there's thank, you, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. I really need a drink right now. What day is it? <laughs> All right, folks, that's all the excuse I needed to drown my gaslit brain in hazy IPAs. Please hit that like button and leave a comment to help the algorithm. Thanks a lot. <coughs>